Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Stewart Coates, Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. The haul from upstairs downstairs. I know I said I'd have an auction this Friday, but that's before I had the opportunity to go back to upstairs downstairs and work with the lovely Ruth Rambert, Lambert. Not Rambert, Lambert. And see more of Annie's fabulous collection. Unfortunately, um, I was unable to film this time. I had two hours. They opened at 10 a.m. and my husband collected me at noon. He had a meeting in another town. So I was unable to stay and film. But in that two hours, I was able to pick these treasures that I'm gonna to bring to you right now. Now, most of these were purchased at Upstairs Downstairs. There are several items that I purchased while in Cheltenham and also in Stroud, which are two towns near to where Upstairs Downstairs, upstairs downstairs is. So, you know, as they say, let's rip off the band-aid. I'm going to show you probably the first piece that is, that there are so many fantastic pieces here that I, I was able to purchase, but this is my personal favorite. Y'all know I love Victorian. This is the most incredible piece of Victorian jewelry that I have been able to bring for a while. It's rose gold, Persian turquoise, half split pearls on rose gold. Now, once upon a time, it was a brooch as well as a pendant. I'm not sure if it was both at one time or if it's been converted since. But I think you would struggle to find something as incredible. It has little round garnet eyes. Victorian chain. We'll just sit that out of shot there. Well, not out of shot, but just off to the side. We might as well go with the turquoise pieces and the turquoise color pieces while we're there. This gorgeous stunning it is 22 carat XRF malachite and turquoise fabulous Victorian brooch which it could also be worn as a necklace, of course, or on a band as a bracelet. I, I don't know, I'd wear it every day. It's just that, that incredible. Now, when I say turquoise colored, I've seen quite a few of these. I actually need to attach a bit of chain to this for it to be correct. Now, this may look like turquoise to the untrained eye, but it's actually turquoise glass. And it was made in France. And it's also Victorian. And it's a stick pin. So you'd put it through your item of clothing and then put the pin in. And I'll find some appropriate chain and two jump rings to put there to make it complete. Of course, it's been cleaned. 
Edwardian sterling silver. Likely check because no one did. Dragon scale. Glad G glass as well as the check. I'm trying to get in there so you can see it. It actually looks alive. Art Deco, nine karat gold. It's rose, the band is rosy gold. As you can see, it's quite rosy. And then you can see the cabochon is actually a deep yellow gold. Now the band is nine karat gold. The top of this is 12 karat gold. I believe this is a conversion, a conversion ring. There is Porcelain, I'm guessing, doesn't look to be stone to me, but perfect scarab. It's completely hallmarked, but it carries from Victorian to Art Deco, the nine carat hallmark. Let me see if I can get in there and show you. see that yes there will be a lot of turquoise colored items because I love turquoise <laughs> and it just worked out that way now these I believe the earring is art deco but these are a new sterling European wire they were probably post or screw backs and someone converted them. They're still quite incredible. There's a sterling slave bangle. Uh, these fit, I'm going to say this is a larger one. I'll give you the measurements on it either tomorrow or Sunday. This is just a haul video. We'll have another video tomorrow that does a preview for Sunday's auction. This fellow is Art Deco and he has blue crystal eyes. Hey. There's an Edwardian, or possibly a little bit later. Gorgeous, very detailed butterfly wing bar brooch. Of course, it's marked Thomas Lane Mott. So, you know, it wouldn't be Edwardian. It would definitely be Art Deco, since Thomas Lee Mott brought his line out in 1922. An antique Bo Sterling double Scotch thistle. Oh, this is very early. Well, I mean, not early as in Georgian, but early as in Victorian three fat, adorable Wedgwood cherubs. Definitely deco. Incredibly brilliant. Marcosite sterling brooch. I, I'm not even positive that I'm going to part with this one. And the reason I'm saying that is because y'all know I'm a May baby. 
Now to have one enamel slider is rare. To have two, I don't even have to say it, do I? <laughs> and I just flipped it and showed you. It's Lily of the Valley on one side and little violets and fern on the other. This is an absolutely stunning bracelet Albertina. Little hearts. It just, it has the whole nine. There's another gorgeous Albertina that is also enamel. Roses. I love a rose. I, I desperately love a rose. Rose is the June flower, if I'm not mistaken. Another Art Deco with the safety. Gorgeous Marcosite brooch. Yes, I love bows. I'm I'm a bow girly. Thomas Lee Mott. Hand painted under rock crystal. One of his painted Victorian ladies. These are, of course, Art Deco. Now, I don't have chains on these yet. But, guys, these have the original glass and frames. That is enameled with different shades of roses and little blue forget-me-nots. This one is with roses and guilloche. They're both guilloche. But look how stunning. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh my God. I have to bring out another uh, enamel piece when I show those. Let me see if I'm going to grab the rest of the turquoise color things and then we can clear this away. <laughs> I realize it's really busy. Uh, Antique Chalcedony glass. The glass is absolutely in perfect condition apart from one bead that's smooth. It's probably just a manufacturer split. Now, this would definitely be Deco, this Chrysoprase glass. Start clearing things away as I show you. Now this, we really need to come up and show it on the bust. Oh yeah, um, I'll come up the carrots for you and the carrot weight. These are oval cuts and they are natural rubies, set in sterling. You've got to see this necklace on a boss. Now, it's Middle Eastern. It has Persian turquoise. The little center one is set in gold. Every single one of these is a bell. Uh, when you see those pieces from like Trafari and Goldette from the 1970s, they were modeled after these stunning Victorian pieces. I'm going to probably need the taller bus to show you, but you will get the idea. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, this is another Albertina that I was able to find. A double slider pannier. Oh, it's a little twisted. I'll untwist that before we see it. Also has a T-bar and a tassel, of course. Vintage 
Sleek is your dragonfly. Now, this isn't signed, but it has all indications of being native. And this is a stunning hunk of turquoise. Currently at a seven and a half. But you know, we can take that up, but not down. Let's see. This is Asian turquoise. I will put it under UV lamp so you can see that it is natural. It is not conglomerate. If anyone tries to sell you big hunks of turquoise like this, make sure you hit it with your UV light. And then you'll find out if it's an aggregate, if it's, if it's been combined. This is at least vintage to the point that it has no resin in it. The majority of large turquoise that you get today, if you hit it with UV light, it will glow. Now, I have the box for this. Gorgeous sterling marcasite watch. And the receipt is in the box. It's dated for 1938. The clasp of this is nine karat gold. It's of course, let me get the light down on it so you can see it. Stunning gold stone. Now, if you've ever been told that goldstone is a stone, it's not. This strand is Victorian. The markings on the clasp are Victorian and it's also a rosy gold. Um, goldstone has been around since the 17th century and it was made by only one family. Now, it was made by that one family to the 19th century. So you can attribute early pieces of goldstone. This wouldn't be, you know, classified as that. This is, this is probably post 1900 when goldstone was revived and the family let the glass making secrets out. There's a gorgeous little, I mean, would I show you one charm? Yes, when it has a natural ruby in it. Little charm. Um, now this is an almondine garnet. Can you see how it's almost pink? It's Victorian, nine karat gold, set in a The top of this is set in nine carat. It is beautiful cat ruby, not ruby, but garnet colored cabochon. These are antique garnet sterling earrings with filigree. Uh, converted again with these posts, but likely Art Deco. Stunning garnet pendant on sterling with gold over in the shape of a horseshoe. Fantastic marcasite bow ring. Who doesn't love a bow ring? Victorian Jetstone Drop Earrings. Uh, this Victorian locket is sterling with gold over. It also has the original glass and frame. And I love that it had someone's sweetheart. That's 
that's a bit of paper and they've cut that oval out of it and behind it is a drogotype, a tintype. There's an Art Deco bit. Look at the quality on this tiger's eye. And it's set on gold as well. Vintage, longer length, and someone has thoughtfully added a magnetic clasp as well. I absolutely adore sterling silver bead necklaces. Look like pearls, but they're sterling. Got another Edwardian early deco, completely textured sterling silver charm bracelet, an antique lock, antique padlock. Uh, let's see, I'm going to show you the earrings quickly before I show you other pieces. Marcusite bows, a little Edwardian looking bows. An Edwardian Marcusite bracelet. These are more modern. These are sterling and they're iolite, which I adore good iolite because they look like fabulous cornflower blue. Cashmere, not cornflower, but cashmere sapphires. These are vintage, they are crystal, and they are adorable. They're a dangle post. One of my favorite kind of earrings. Comfort of a post, but a little bit of a dangle. Uh, it's a Victorian jet bracelet. It is in incredible condition. Art Deco pink crystal necklace. Czechoslovakian. Real pearl earrings. I love the design of these. Sort of like pearl disco balls. Bit of fun. A Gorgeous rose cut garnet ring, nine carat gold. A Venetian perfume bottle with I see a little bit of damage there, but this is uh, cased glass, glass on glass. And you can see the gold. It's actually gold stone, but they call it. Uh... Of course, I'm gonna draw a blank while I'm doing a video. I'll, I'll remember it and tell you tomorrow, but there is a cork in here with a little pin and stopper. It's a gorgeous antique bottle. More earrings. 14 karat gold. Edwardian. Gorgeous colored peridot. Uh, let's see, we'll do the pearls and save the Scottish bracelets for the very last. These are all, of course, Baroque pearls, cultured pearls, white and grayish peacock, pink, gray, stunning. Um, I'll measure it out for you possibly tomorrow or 
before the Sunday show. It's, it's flapper length. And those are sterling rings. I guess the last pieces I'm going to show you are the antique Scottish. Now, this one is rare because, of course, it has a hair keeper and a hard stone fob. There is a tiny bit of damage to this one gem, but it has been reinforced with a sterling bar. It's not going to go anywhere. This one has a dog clip. Now, they're both banded agate, by the way. You go ahead and take a screenshot of this and tell me what you find. Oh, both of those are Victorian. I'm going to say conservatively 1870s or 1890s on the design and construction. They are two incredible Scottish bracelets. Well, oh. I nearly, nearly forgot the most modern piece. Well, other than the couple modern, modern pieces I will show you here. Lucite from the 1950s. It is an all-in-one purse and compact. Oop. There's your mirror and your powder. Your lipstick would go here. You could put your cigarettes or whatever other little items you were going to carry with you. And I will give you the comps on this. I'll show you the comps on this when I preview it. I'm sure you know that Lucite bags are very collectible, especially all in one with a compact and bag. Well, guys, this is uh, this is what I left home for, <laughs> and I hope that you love everything as much as I do. And I'm so appreciative once again to Ruth Lambert at Upstairs Downstairs Antiques, and I also got to meet Ruth's partner, which was wonderful as well. Mr. David came in as I was purchasing these items. I'm sure he has a, a deep connection with them as they did belong to his partner. Well, I will see you tomorrow for a preview video and hopefully I'll see you Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. here in England. I want to thank you all for stopping by and hope that I see you on tomorrow. Oh, see you tomorrow and Sunday. Have a great rest of your day, my queens and kings. Take care.